Hi everyone. Today we will talk about Paloma Picasso, the Yves Saint Laurent scandal collection that turned the fashion world upside down in 1971, and we'll look for references to the past in the Saint Laurent Spring Summer 2022 collection. Yves Saint Laurent, also Saint Laurent, is a Parisian haute couture house. Founded by Yves Saint Laurent and his partner Pierre Berger in 1961. Since 1999 the house belongs to Gucci Group, which in turn is owned by Caring Holding. The current designer of the collections is Anthony Vaccarillo. The collection is dedicated to Paloma Picasso, Saint Laurent's friend whose way of dressing inspired the designer for decades. Paloma Picasso had no way to avoid excessive attention, as she was the daughter of one of the most famous artists of the 20th century Pablo Picasso. Paloma Sphinx, so nicknamed by her mother, became a coolly confident IT girl, who kept herself at the center of the French art, theater, and fashion world. Her dresses were copied, her choices repeated, her looks imitated. She began her career in Paris, designing jewelry for small theater productions. Yves Saint Laurent quickly took notice of her work and commissioned her to design accessories for his collections in the early 70s, then she went on to design jewellery for the Greek jewellery house Elates, and then moved to Tiffany's, where her pieces are still produced today. Among her close friends was not only Yves Saint Laurent, but also Karl Lagerfeld. The fact that she was able to bridge the gap between the feuding superstars was a coup in itself. On her wedding day, she wore a white Spencer jacket by Saint Laurent, a red silk blouse with ruffles, and red gloves. Yves Saint Laurent was greatly inspired by Paloma Picasso, who loved to dress at flea markets. In the 1970s, young Parisian women were reviving the fashion worn by their mothers, wearing turbans and picking up clothes from the 40s at flea markets the chic of the 70s. At that time, people were not yet used to seeing vintage. Yves always called street fashion his greatest influence, he was quick to pick up on the trends of the time and give them an aristocratic appeal. From the end of the war until the 60s there was little change in the world of haute couture, Serge Carrera wrote in France magazine, then with one collection Yves Saint Laurent turned things around and made fashion fresh borrowing elements from the past and mixing turbans with prints. Suddenly, fashion moved into the realm of spectacle, but the couturier had to invent something new, and for the French, these silhouettes were a reminder of the occupation, as well as the aesthetic of the compa. The press was outraged. Yves openly called the critics narrow-minded and reactionary, petty people paralyzed by taboos, and condemned couture as a museum that was bogged down in the dull tradition of so-called good taste and refinement. If you like this video, I would be very grateful for the likes and subscriptions, which can help me to understand whether to do similar content for you in the future. Thank you for your time. And see you soon. Your Valerie